Less than 100 days out from Election Day in November, Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump both spent the weekend on the campaign trail. ABC's Christiane Cordero details where they went and what comes next. This morning, despite the party's support and record-breaking donations, more than $200 million raised since entering the race, likely Democratic presidential nominee Vice President Kamala Harris considers herself an underdog. We're the underdogs in this race. But this is a people power campaign, and we have momentum. The VP rallied support from donors in Massachusetts over the weekend. In Minnesota, former President Donald Trump continued his attacks on President Biden before turning to his new opponent. They took him out of the fight and they put a new fighter. We have a new victim now, Kamala. But these remarks from Trump got the most attention. You got to get out and vote. In four years, you don't have to vote again. We'll have it fixed so good you're not going to have to vote. Democrats claim that comment was a threat to democracy. Congressional Republicans also sharpening their attacks on Harris. There is no liberal horse that she has chosen not to ride. She sponsored the Green New Deal and Medicare for All. While claiming Harris is soft on crime policies, but the Biden administration now touting its record on crime, claiming record declines over the first half of this year, including in homicides and vehicle thefts across more than 40 cities. Trying to make people think that crime is up when crime is down under Joe Biden and crime was up under Donald Trump. Now, I don't know how often that gets reported on this network. So if you're watching this at home, do yourself a favor and look up the data. A new ABC News Ipsos poll shows a jump in favorability for Harris, now at 43 percent overall compared to 35 percent just one week ago. And among independents, Harris at 44 percent compared to 28 percent a week ago. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington.